How are you, Peter? You tell me, Hunter. I'm out of the loop on everything. They're off discussing what to do about Venom, and no one has said a word to me about it. I apologize if you were left out of the loop on this, Peter. If it is any consolation, I do not think it was meant to be malicious. Everyone's as freaked out as I am. They just bury it way down deep and then walk around like they've got something stuck in their armor. There is no one better suited for a mission against Venom than you. I know. I should be doing something. Because right now I feel kind of useless. Maybe I'll use the forge to bake a loaf of sourdough. Really get in Stark's way until he notices me. If you want Stark to pay attention to you, there are better ways to make your point than making bread. Well, I was kidding about that, but if you have suggestions... Just walk up to him and suggest a way to help. Okay, okay, you've made your point. Ah, <sighs> fine. Maybe I'll speak up. Excellent. Just give me a bit. I'm a little rusty. The Sinister Six caused me to miss out on my speech class final. to ring those damn things. You don't know how close I came to cutting them down. I wouldn't have thought so, but it's good to hear those bells again after all this time. As hard as Sarah tried to keep you out of the tower, you always found your way back in, just in time to wake her up at the crack of dawn. <laughs> should be useful. Hydra offensive. No doubt stealing more of the priceless and did I mention extremely powerful artifacts housed within the sanctum? I don't think so. They're fortifying a position here. You're right. We're never gonna get close enough to get a symbiote sample. Oh, I wouldn't say never. Venom problem? No problem. Wow. You got some serious range on that old Spidey sense, kid. Or he got my text. Either way, I'm your guy. Come on, team. I got an idea. Anyone? Definitely should have practiced that more in the mirror. Sorry, kid. Can't risk a field trip on this one. Yeah, cause you all have so much experience fighting Venom. Spider-Man's cunning has proven to far exceed his years. In battle, not the talking. Don't see any of us muscling in when the Mandarin's in town. <laughs> okay, fine. I get it. What's the plan, Uh, Spider-Man?
Listen, I'm not a control freak. If you have any good ideas on this mission, I'm all ears. My only idea is to not get killed. Oh, good one. We're totally in sync. Given their history together, I suppose it does make sense to trust Spider-Man on this plan of his. What's the worst that could happen? Actually, don't answer that. Happy to oblige. Crossbones. And Eddie? And a really big... What is that? Whatever it is, they brought an entire army to protect it. Uh-huh. Sorry, just need to make a last-second adjustment to the plan. Ah, uh, yes. The plan. What is it? Right. Okay, stay low. Wait for my signal. The time wasted. Suppressing gamma energy versus harnessing it. Oh, when Mother sees what I have accomplished. What's up, Doc? Eat his brains. Signal! Signal! That was a signal! work. Well, it did that one time. Parker, report. Parker, status. Well, I am under a little pressure, but Eddie's right where I want it. Take it, we're on to plan B. Uh, I'd say it's probably more like plan 1.5. I'm betting those smaller bells vibrate at a similar frequency to their big brother. May not be perfect, but they could buy me the time I need to get that sample. We have your sample right here. Spider. Yep, I'll get right into that one. I see not much has changed among the world's fanatics. But didn't the Hydra originally have nine heads? Someone order a knuckle sandwich. I saw a move like that once centuries ago. Suddenly it's 
Smells like spoiled milk around here. Sometimes play with our food. going to talk. Mother tells us to hurry! That was actually a pretty hard hit. Over there! About to get bigger. We have longed for this moment, little spider, to squash you here in this cursed place. When you are gone, we shall feast upon your new friend, heroes. And then... <laughs> oh, precious Mary Jane. Hey, Eddie. I know that's just Lilith talking through you or whatever, but shut up already. Never strong enough to face me. Your time has Never forget a face. Reinforcements 
Reinforcements inbound. Spider-Man, we can find another way. Tell that to Aunt May, Mary Jane, Harry, Flash, Felicia, Otto, and about nine million other New Yorkers we're trying to save. If getting that sample means we can stop your mother from destroying this city, it's worth the risk. So find us some time. They cannot possibly match your strength. Resistance is admirable. I'm down to responding. We cannot keep this up forever. But we can. Arsenic, lead, zinc, and silver. Seventh grade trip to the Liberty Bell. Let's get him. You've got... I am not sure whether I should feel pity or disgust for this bizarre creature. Hold the 
Light's gift. Appreciate the lift. for the rest of us. Stop me like that. Should have gotten some tips from Spider Man. You had your chance to escape. Do not touch us! I'm on it. Okay, that was pretty cool. Lucky to still be breathing. Stay down! <laughs> 
too weak for this fight. Come on, Eddie, just give it up already. How about we hit up that Chinese buffet over in Bushwick? My tree! All the food we need is right in front of us. No sympathy for the weak! I have not been hit like that since... ever. It's too bad you couldn't meet my new team under better circumstances, Eddie. Fury's got two teams digging for Venom as we speak. He may want to add two or three more. Just saying. You dropped a church on him. I doubt he's going anywhere. Parker? Uh-oh. I have seen that look before. Congratulations. On a job well done. Aw, thanks everyone. I'll remember this moment forever. Which is probably how long it's gonna take me to pay the church's repair bill. Oh, not to worry. Thankfully, we have a billionaire in the house. Yeah, at least Stark's credit card is good for something. Oh, these kids. Real sweethearts. Good plan, Peter. Executed like a champ. Craziest plan I ever saw in my life. Still can't believe he pulled that off. Yes, and now we must make use of the sample he recovered. Um, we? All right, everyone. I know you all have a lot more important things to do than cheer little old me on. Let's go save the world. You could drop five churches on Venom and he'd still keep coming. I doubt we've seen the last of him. Next time Parker comes up with a plan, I want to be the one to punch the giant bell. Parker's debrief is going to be one for the ages. Just between you and me, I wasn't 100% sure that little plan would pay off out there. I mean, I was pretty sure, but I still had that little voice in the back of my head. If you 
screw this up, Venom's gonna be snacking on your skull! Even worse, I would've let you down, not to mention the others. I always knew you would succeed, Peter. Enjoy the praise you received. Thanks. It's kinda nice to be the man of the hour. Even if it only lasts... Uh, an hour. Spent so long trying to keep Spider-Man and Peter Parker separate from each other, I never really had the chance to celebrate victories with... you know... Friends? Exactly. Thank you for that, Hunter. However you look at it, be glad we got the sample. Now we can get the doc home, keep you less explodey? All around, a good day. We all owe you a thanks. I was nothing. Besides, helping the boss man test his top secret prototype on a demonically possessed alien symbiote human hybrid has got to look good to the folks at Stark Industries. Would love to get a shot to work for Tony one day. Just wish Spider Man could submit a resume. But you are working with Tony, Peter. You are an integral member of the team. Whoa. Mind just. <clears throat> Peter? Nope. Mine's still blown. I just need to sit here and let it all sink in, Hunter. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. I knew Peter was going to come through. I bet you've heard nothing but ringing Venom's Liberty Bell jokes. Hunter, I may have found something of interest to you. The means to surmount that obstacle you were so interested in. The secret lies with the symbiote you recovered. If my suspicions are correct, it can be used to disrupt your troublesome ward in the same way that my own wards of protection fell at the Sanctum Sanctorum. What do I have to do? Without going off on an overly technical Starkian rant, the alien itself has a very unusual composition. Its seemingly gelatinous structure seems to interfere with the ward's resonance frequency when channeled with the appropriate magic. You are not going to ask me to retrieve more of the creature, are you? That shouldn't be necessary. Although a cooperative venom would be invaluable here, I think we can make do with what's left from before. I left a vial of the symbiote on my desk in the forge. If you're intent on removing the ward, take it with you. Discreetly. Thank you for pursuing this further, Doctor. I doubt anyone else could have made this kind of discovery. You're too kind, Hunter. Besides, I think our mutual friend has done quite well in guiding you so far. I am very grateful to have such insightful friends. Say hello for me sometime, would you? I will, Doctor. And now I should be getting back to my work, but... Do be careful out there, Hunter, and don't forget about the vial on my desk. Hey, I knew Peter was gonna come through. This is a distillate from the Venom symbiote. Strange thinks this will dispel the ward? Good moves out there, Hunter. Parker's plan was chaotic, but if... Uh, are you heading to the meeting? Yeah, I'll be there shortly. Credit to... Did you read today's book? Of course. But you'll get nothing out of me until the meeting. Book club tonight. You in? Meet you there. See you there. Looks like we're all here. Grab a seat and let's get started. I am ready. The Art of War is one of my favorite books, if not my favorite. Can anyone guess why? Because it's not just about fighting, it's about how to conduct yourself when in conflict with others. Carol gets it. 
For quite a while, all my interactions with people involve some form of conflict. Interesting. This book laid things out for me. Help me understand, you don't always smash yourself against a problem face first. You must understand your enemy before you can hope to defeat them. Hunter, you get this more than most. You understood Lilith, which led you to discover her weakness. With that came her defeat. That is what Nico and the others are trying to figure out. That goth knight thing? Emo kids, actually. Whatever. Nico's magic nerd knight. My point here? Until we know what game Lilith is playing, there's no way we can break the rules. That's the only way we win. So the favorite book of a half-vampire was written by Master Sun. I'm the Daywalker. Of course it is. Carol, what stood out for you? Mm, the chapter about flexibility in warfare. Yes, it presented distinct situations, but at its core, it promoted a philosophy of adaptability. This is a subtle but key difference from the Kree War manuals I know. Those manuals lay out how to overcome every possible contingency. Because Kree commanders always expect an answer, exceptions can flummox the ones who let the rules think for them. Are Kree commanders really that predictable? Unless you have your own version of the Kree's supreme intelligence, unlikely. But yeah, still possible. The art of war encourages fluidity of thought. The variations presented in the chapter on flexibility are examples, not rote technique. And that's how wars are lost. So I've been dying to know, what is Captain America's favorite part of this book? After this read, everything he had to say about deception and warfare. Ooh, explain. Wait, what used to be your favorite? Discussions of leadership. There's a lot of good stuff in there. I've long since internalized all that worked for me and examined what didn't. But convincing your enemy that your greatest weakness is your most powerful strength. Or the opposite, that your strength is a vulnerability? Exactly. It struck me, especially regarding our conflict with Lilith. So, what's our greatest strength? Lilith has no allies, just thralls. She is alone in this fight, but we are united. Are we? The greatest scientific mind I've known, sorry Tony, just defected to her side. What's to stop any of us from doing the same? I don't have an answer to the question I asked, but I plan to do what the art of war suggests. Learn her weakness. Adapt as the conflict evolves. Keep Lilith guessing. And above all, think. And that'll do it. Great. So what's our next book? I told Carol she could pick the next one. I decided on volume 32 of the Kavat Koth. The what now? It's a cross between a legal text, a spaceborne invasion defense manual, and one of those sagas that Thor seems to love. Okay then. I promise it's not a heavy read. I thought it would be a good companion to the art of war. See you all next time. I'm nervous about my book. I don't know how much of it will translate. Not the language, the ideas. It is good to encounter new views. They help you better comprehend your own. You really connected with the art of war, huh? I think you'll like my choice. Give it a shot. That's all I ask. I didn't know what I was getting into when I signed up, but I'm glad we have book club. It was good to see the conclusions we each drew from the book. That's why I think we need to do this. A team that understands its disparate parts works better in concert. But don't quote me. Sun Tzu said it better.
That went better than expected. I'm looking forward to reading Carol's book. Same here. Feels like Book Club is pointing out an edge we've always had, but never knew to sharpen. That's all for now. You taking off or hanging out? I am taking off. Later then. Hello. 